just looking around. We just like do things haphazard here. Hello. Hey, what is your name? Beatriz Amazon. But in English, well, I'm from Brazil. But my, my name is pronounced in English Beatrice Mason. My name is Glenn Friedman. I'm originally born in New York, but I live most of the time in Los Angeles, California. Today we are in Cannes, France for uh, Medem. Medem is a uh, international meeting place to buy and sell music, uh, book tours, concerts. It's, it's a combination of all kinds of uh, music media getting together and exchanging ideas and hopefully deals. They want to hear her because she uh, is the real singer. I met this gentleman, Glenn, Glenn Friedman. I met him um, in 2011 at Womex, which is a music fair, a very important one. And we met and he liked my music and we decided to work together. He's getting my music played everywhere possible, you know, radios and internet radios. This has been helping me a lot because I'm getting more and more audience. So this would probably this will probably help getting more gigs and, and, and tours. We get more exposure by getting great people like you to cover us here at Medem and we get um, other media to show up. That's the radio charts. Radio charts, the social media is the big one of the biggest things that's happening right now. Oh, come where on. fans get together and listen and, and buy and chat learn about what's going on in her life. How long have you been seeing it? Professionally, uh, it's been some eight years, but I started studying music when I was six, so it's been a long time. My mother is a, a, is a choir conductor, so I sang in the choirs. There was a lot of church music, you know, in Latin, and there was a lot of that. There was also uh, songs from uh, the Brazilian um, Brazilian folklore. And later on, I decided to go to law school, so I'm also a lawyer. And then I just dropped everything and decided to be a professional singer. What I sing today, uh, I would say it's um, it's modern uh, Brazilian pop mixed with a little bit of jazz and a little bit of computer sounds. Uh, let me show. I try to focus on new artists, new composers, uh, original songs. When I started, the market was already changing a lot. So I would say it was a very difficult time for me because I was beginning uh, in this career and, and the market was in a sort of a turmoil. Nobody knew exactly what was going to happen. You still don't know. So I'm still trying to find out how how to do business, how to uh, sell my music, how to um, behave in this new world. My own company for 33 years is called The Music Umbrella, and we've pretty much concentrated on international music licensing and music publishing and advancing careers and, and burying a few other careers. But we've worked with some pretty good people and still do, like The Who. And, ACDC, and I work with Anita Baker and a bunch of other folks. But one company I'm really excited about right now is this one right over here, which is, oh, coincidentally, it's Lily Bond, which is Beatrice's company. And uh, I'm just proud to be her consultant, and we're, we're doing our best to launch her worldwide, and I think it's going to be very successful. It's years ago, it used to be a, the norm would be to sell music through discs through vinyl or then eventually cassettes and CDs and now it's kind of swinging more and more towards digital downloads uh, and through the telephone and, and it's, it's, it's getting harder to sell more physical products but it is more there's more and more ways and more models to sell music and we have we're discovering them every day so it's it's more difficult now the business has kind of gone flattened down a lot of people got used to paying nothing uh, for, for music, pirating, whatever, but now it's more and more subscriptions and things, so it's beginning to pick itself up again, and I think the, the future for a lot of artists, especially newer artists like Beatrice, is, is going to be a lot of touring, a lot of merchandise, and of course selling product at the live shows and all the other things I just mentioned. My last tour started exactly here at Medem. I was invited by the organization to uh, do a showcase. And it was my first appearance abroad, and I, I had a few concerts afterwards uh, in Europe, and it was just so great. I didn't feel nervous. I, it felt like this was my place, you know. 
the stage and Europe, and I just loved it. I think for my type of music and uh, for my style, smaller and medium venues are more appropriate. Well, I've never uh, showcased at a, a stadium, for example. I don't, I don't know how that feels. It must be, must feel really good, you know, to have thousands of people singing your song, and you know. But I don't have this experience. I used to go for uh, very melodic songs, you know, a kind of, kind of sophisticated even, but melodic and easy to listen to. You know, romances pela vida, não tive milhões, nem noites mal dormidas com amantes dos bons. Não sou desinibida, mas vou conseguir soltar meu lado blond lele, que nem é tão careta, nem tão rock and roll, nem tão Madre Teresa, nem tão Marilyn Monroe. Que já viveu tristezas, mas quer ser feliz, tal qual milhões de blonde lilies. We're just now starting to develop the products we want to sell on the site, on the website. It's going to be Lily Blonde store. And we're going to have uh, many products, we're still thinking about them. This was the pilot shirt.